this is your teacher this is your master now but anyway he is like muhammad muhammad was a pimp too how was he a pimp well uh, no when, uh, okay hold when, on when, when, uh, you agree okay is uh, who is the one who allow you to have sex slave to work as a pimp you're a prophet so he must be a pimp too where where you got your license from you see every every business like as an example there is a there is an organization uh, or let us say a, a place uh, an office where you got your license to work as a teacher correct there's a place where you got your license to work as an engineer so who is the one who gave you the license to be a pimp muhammad in order to be in a specialty of pimping business he have to be a pimp too and as long as he agree with it that's mean he is against our god but he is agreeing with your God because you have a God who is a pimp. Isn't it your God? He gave you a promise of a lot of women to have sex with them in heaven. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's a pimp Marsh too. That's a pimp. Mar what is pimp? Pimp is someone he promised a, 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 a one man, uh, uh, come to my house. I have a pimp uh, house. You, you, okay. you and many okay. women. Can I, can I say something? Say something. Go ahead. At least, at least our heaven is not boring. Your heaven, all you do for eternity is, is just sing, sing songs. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, let us let us go. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see how boring it is. Your prophet, he promised you uh, that your penis will be endless. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay. Let us see how boring it is now and how not how fun. So your wife is next to you and your penis is going to the seven galaxies. Who is the one now is suffering? <laughs> You are the one who said that. So how 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 is stupid is this statement, Ahmad? I'm not trying to insult you, but you see, my heaven is boring. We are singing, so we are singing, laughing at you. You have a penis. You are chasing your penis now. You want to have sex, but you cannot catch it because it's keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. So Ahmad in Iraq and his penis now in Brazil, going to Argentina and then go in the sea and go on the Amazon River and those little fish they start chewing in it and biting it and the ants and the mosquitoes so what kind of religion this religion is i mean what kind of a prophet he promised you endless penis and you are saying to me what's wrong with that don't you see so, that some this is something stupid there the prophet didn't promise us endless penis he promised us in in jannah we can have anything we want any, anything with desire my friend what if i show you the reference that your prophet he promised you endless penis but it's a it's a weak hadith because how can I, how can that even work endless penis Okay, how it can work? How it's weak hadith? I mean, okay, what, what is weak hadith? Uh, weak hadith. Uh, no. It's just like it's not an authentic one. It's not. It's like. So you are saying Jewish. to me, you are saying to me that we Muslims we lie about what Prophet said. Of course, because there's a lot of enemies of Islam. But you are For saying, example, but who yourself. is the one who wrote it? The Muslims. Not all Muslims are Muslims. Some of them are disguised ah, as Jews. Not all Muslims are Muslims. All right, but those are the Some scholars. Are disguised as but Jews. those, but those are the scholars. You know, I'm happy that. What do you mean no? What, what do you mean no? Who is the one who wrote those hadith? The scholars. Okay, okay, okay. Let's read the hadith. Uh, pull it up. All right. Give me a second. But I'm happy. At least in our heaven, we can have anything with desire. But in your heaven, all you do is sing songs for eternity. Don't you get bored singing well, songs? Well, no. We will not be. Who said we will be singing song? Where do you get this from? We are going to be living with the glory of the Lord, and His glory cannot be compared. Who is the one who gave us all the joy in our life? Who is the one? You said you said songs, right? Who is the one who gave you the joy of music? God. Who is the one who gave you the joy of uh, food? God. All the joy you have is from God. So you are saying that God who gave us all joys, he cannot give us better joy than prostitution and sex. And but it's not sex. It's sex with huris. It's sex. It's sex. What uh, you know, sex with huris? It's sex. It's yeah, sex. What's wrong with that? Yeah, so you know, what, what do you mean? What's what's wrong? You keep saying to me, what's wrong with that? You're in heaven. You can do whatever you like. There is no sin in heaven. Uh, are, are, did you call me before? What's that? Did you call me before? No. Because this is the same statement I heard from a Muslim before, saying exactly the same thing 
that there is no sin in heaven? Yeah, because you can't sin in heaven. Everyone's sinless. Exactly. No, that's, no, that's no. You said there is no sin in heaven. What, what? So, so in heaven, you can have uh, you can have sex with your mother. You can have sex no, with you your can't. sister. No, you can't because why? Uh, because, like, for example, um, okay, what what is your sex? You, you, can't, is, you, can't, uh, Ahmad, Ahmad. you can't do evil work. You can't do evil things. Ahmad, like, Ahmad, like what, for example, what you, is your sex? What is your sex? Uh, Hanbali. I'm, I'm Sunni. Hanbali. Okay. What if I show you that if a person, a Muslim person, he had sex with his mother or even his daughter, especially the daughter from adultery, it's okay. Not in heaven, here in earth. Can you can, uh, can you uh, block the chat? Because they're being really disrespectful about the prophet. Don't look. Uh, you know, we, we don't. You know, Ahmad. Here, we don't respect your prophet. Nobody respected. What? Yeah, nobody respects. I don't it, look at the chat. Over, over, over don't two look at. People don't look. Don't look at the chat. You don't respect us too. You make fun of us. You are calling me names. Oh. You, you uh, call me names. Uh, you just I, made fun of me. You said, uh, you know, your heaven is boring, etc. Blah 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 blah. So I did not complain. So you are, you are, you are calling Christian prince. I don't respect your prophet. Your prophet is a pervert. This what I'm. The whole conversation is about your prophet being a pimp, and now you get upset, and you agreed. If I say to you now, your prophet have sex with a child, can you can you refuse to say that your prophet is a bit of fire? No, he's not a pedophile. So what? What pedophile mean? Explain to me with a file. At the, that time, at that time, you, you gotta look at things at context. Okay. So you are saying time, to me. 90s, so you are saying to me at that time your prophet was with a file. At that time. No, I'm saying at that time it was it was normal. If it wasn't normal or if it was a All disgusting right. thing. The hold Arabs on. Would, okay, hold on, hold the on. Arabs would have done hold something. On. Or they would okay, have wrote it down. Wait, wait. Uh, why, why, am, why, a man, <laughs> uh, why, at, why a man at that time, at the age of 54, he go after a girl she is six years old? At that time. What's, that's because, uh, that's, he because he wanted, that's, that's because he wanted to uh, bond the, uh, the Muslims together. What? Uh, Abu Bakr is already a Muslim. He believes in him. He's following him. You do not need to sleep with his daughter. And he have other daughter, an older daughter. Why he did not go for the old one? Why he took the child? She's not a child. She's nine she's six years old. old. That, she's six years old. She is six years old. Yes, yeah, she's six. But uh, he he. Uh... He consummated the marriage when she was nine. But he married her. Okay, from six to nine, he was molesting her from six to nine. Because she could no. not, you know, this is mean it was his private decision, not his, not in his God telling him at nine. He he could not do it when she is six. She, she will die. He will kill her. So he he was molesting her until she is a little bit bigger. And then he he, he raped her. It says he married her. He yeah. married her. Listen, he married her, not engaged. He married her at the age of six. So okay, listen. at the age of don't six, you, she she was his listen. wife. Don't you don't you think if the prophet did anything wrong to Aisha, uh, she would have wrote it in hadith and would have said something? Uh, okay. Well, Aisha, she said many things about uh, the Muhammad. You see, as an example, uh, but Aisha, Aisha has never said anything bad about him. You want to bet? Yeah, let's bet. Okay. Hmm. Read with me this hadith. I will put it for you on screen. When he made the verses about any woman she can offer herself to the Prophet. You know that, right? Your Prophet, he made verses. About what? About women they can offer themselves so he can sleep with them, he can F them. Oh. Yeah, in the Quran. We will go for that then. But your your prophet wife, she said to Muhammad, I see that your Lord he hastened for your sexual desire. Read with me carefully. Aisha she said, Being jealous of women who offer themselves to God messenger, I ask, does a woman offer herself, which means a woman have an honor? Only only hookers they do that. Okay. Hey, then, do you have that on the screen? I can't see it. You will see it. It's going to come to you. Then when God, the Most High, sent down, 
you may defer any of them you wish and take yourself any you wish and if you desire you have set aside no sin is it chargeable to you quran chapter 33 verse 51 said it's she said to muhammad it seemed to me that your lord hasten to satisfy your desire do you see it yeah uh, allah will do anything for muhammad exactly for muhammad. what exactly he will do he make him officially a big pimp and he make a verses for him that muslim women they can offer themselves so they can sleep with the prophet and Aisha, she said huh it looked like your god he is just rushing to satisfy your penis desire Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Well, it's in front of you and you agreed and you just said to me yes the prophet Allah he will not hesitate to do anything for him to do what to do what the guy already have 13 wives why he need more women what does this have to do with God when I asked you why he took Aisha she said to make bond between Muslim but those are just women oh they are Muslims already any believing women she offer herself to the prophet to do what to sleep with her what does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with serving the religion? How that will serve anything? Women now, they are lying up in the front of Muhammad house. They want to sleep with him. Why? Because if they sleep with him, they will have a free food forever. They will have a free housing because now they are the women of the prophet. They are his, his mistress. So you're a prophet making verses about his sexual desire is additional proof that he is a false prophet all cult leaders they share two things they want your money and your your women okay if he was a cult leader how come he he lived a poor life how, how come he what lived poor a life, humble your, life what poor life he lived a the wife my life. friend what are you talking about the 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 uh, 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 your prophet he is the have the fifth of every booty what fifth life with the how many slaves muhammad you have how you are poor and how you can feed all those slaves Imagine I have now 10 a slave or servant. I don't want to call a slave servant in my house. That's mean I have to have 10 rooms and I have to have a lot of food for them. I cannot afford it. Even if the people now come to me says, I want to be your servant. I cannot support this person. You have to be rich. You are fooling he yourself. A, he take the fifth of the no, booty. That's not no, true. No, listen, listen. Prophet, he was a Let, poor man. Okay. He, he was, was only eating dates and breads. He was what? He was only eating dates and bread. This is the only thing they have, date and bread and meat. What they have in Saudi Arabia, banana? Like, do you, <laughs> do you think he go outside in the, in the yard and he get a coconut? What's wrong with you, you know? They have an only limited uh, kind of food, you know, is either a, a date or, uh, or, or, or milk or, uh, <laughs> or, or the goat meat, you know, that's it. And your prophet, he died, by the way, was I was eating a goat. Not a chicken because there's no chicken. This is the proof that your prophet was a good guy. You are, you are, you are, you are, you know, you are asking yourself a very simple question. Oh, you know what? I am going to believe in Muhammad. Why? I will give a. This is the question. Oh, I have the answer. He was poor. Where, where do you get that he was poor? All of this is fabricated. The Muslim they say that Muhammad before he died. He borrow and uh, like he, he borrow money from uh, from a Jewish guy next to him. But when Muhammad died, there's no Jews. He killed them all. <laughs> it's a fabricated story. So my friend, why yeah, why why God? God why God <laughs> why God wanna make a verse saying any woman she give her she wanna give herself to Muhammad to effort? And you said to me, yes, Allah will not hesitate. To do that to Muhammad, why Allah want to do Let, that? Okay, can I explain? All right. Uh, 